Today I'm presenting the Kawai K800 Piano, the epitome of upright piano craftsmanship, and it says so right there. Stick around. Hi, this is Ted Barsley with Alamo Piano Galleries. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and list those on there. I've been going through, we've been getting some great comments here lately, some interesting questions, and I try to answer as much as I can. Uh, I wanted to mention also, if you haven't shopped our website, you can do that at alamopianogalleries.com. A lot of the, the pianos, certainly like the K800 things we have are there are in our inventory, and you can get a little bit more detailed description and that go with a lot of the keyboards that we have here on the video channel. What I like about this piano, it, it is above a professional grade upright piano. In fact, I heard a rumor there might one day be an SK800 upright piano. But this piano has some really special features in it, and one I want to get to right away, because it just it, it's mind-blowing. There's not too many upright pianos that have this. It has a sustenuto pedal, which means this is a, like an upright grand piano. It has the working pedals of a true grand piano. The same thing you find on the GLGX and, and also the um, SK series of grand pianos. This has it in there. The other thing that makes this piano just so much fun to play, they're easy to tune besides having a sustenuto pedal that helps in tuning, is they have agraphs all the way across on the piano. Agraphs allow for perfect alignment, just absolutely perfect alignment, no matter how hard or soft you play, you get a really, it just adds so much better to the tuning and stability of the instrument. Not all pianos have agraphs, it's usually your higher grade pianos that will have those. The other thing I wanted to mention is that this has the Millennium 3 carbon fiber action in it, but it is an upright version, which is instead of being this way, it kind of goes this way, and they have the upright action in it uh, to go ahead and trigger the, as well. It's a wonderful playing instrument. It has a great even across, all the way across from low to high, just phenomenal response to playing. I played my first one out at Kauai headquarters uh, a few years back, and we had a couple come through the store, but these are always bought, sold, and paid for, so when they come through the store, they come in, they get set up, and then they get shipped out. This one here we actually have on inventory. It's the first time we've had one in a number of years. I was really fortunate enough. It was my first K800. I got the tune. I did all right on it. Um, it could use some things, but a couple other special features. They call this a grand piano style music desk because it slides out. <clears throat> there is a little bit of a space they have back there that actually allows for some of the sound to escape. Or as I said, it lets some of the wind out. Uh, this is a very powerful instrument. It was my favorite to play at the Kauai training facility I went to. They had them all lined up in the lobby. And I found out the next morning that, yeah, they could hear in the other buildings because there was a group of us that were up all playing around the K800 till about 3.30 or 4 in the morning. And there were grand pianos in much more quieter places, but this is the one we all got around. And I think it's because... The, the soundboard is huge. You have a 50 inch bass string, the longest string at diagonal runs. The speaking length is, is 50 inches. On a 53 inch uh, piano, it's actually a little over 50 inches. The piano itself is 53 inches. That long string, the vibrating portion of it, including around the tuning pin, around uh, the pin at the end, and also going through the agraph, the speaking length, the vibrating portion of that with the uh, <clears throat> dual, they, they have the uh, dual scale, duplex scaling on both ends, the top and the bottom. So that adds additional string length. So the speaking length is 50 inches. I don't know how long the, the, the total string length is, but this is the string length of a grand piano, about a five foot to a five foot three. It had grand piano pedals, grand piano string length, and grand piano soundboard, what a uh, 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 music desk. The soundboard, has more square inches than most five foot grand, uh, grand pianos. So in a sense, they should be advertising this as an upright grand because they put the grand features in it and the soundboard is grand size. Why don't we have a listen to it? We'll come back and wrap up.
What you're hearing there is um, the hammers. They ha actually have upgraded hammers in here. They're double-lined ha hammers on special grade mahogany. And they also have on here the Neotex keys. It's a, it's a blast to play. This is one of the pianos. I'm always partial. I love grand pianos. I love nine-footers, all that stuff. But I'm really, really partial because I spent so much time in my youth practicing on upright pianos all over military bases, all over the city. I would go wherever there was a public piano practice. It was always an upright. I got used to upright pianos. And it doesn't mean that I think they're better. I just prefer them, especially for the home, because they're a lot more compact. But one like this, you can put microphones behind it, tune it up perfect, and make professional grade recordings with it. It is a professional grade piano. It's one that I'm absolutely thrilled uh, to have here and demonstrate. And I'm trying to think if there's one last thing I wanted to mention besides the Sustenuto pedal is they do use the highest available felted hammer, uh, felt on the piano, it's called Royal George Felt. And that is the same kind of felt that is used on their SK series of pianos. And with that, I wanted to wrap up. I call this an upright grand, it's called the K800. It is the epitome of upright piano craftsmanship. Come into one of our stores at Alamo Piano Galleries and play one of these K800 pianos. You're going to want one, and they're lovely instruments, and we'll be looking for you next time. Until then, let me know if you have one, if you want one, and if you've played one or if you want to play one. Let us know. We'll look for you next time here at Alamo Piano Galleries. Thank you.